I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm just saying like until he apologizes and like man's up instead of being this you know guy that wants to get views and think he's funny and he's not he's not a comedian all that good stuff i mean he's done welcome everyone to another episode of aloha friday all right guys so uh, another episode of aloha friday um you know i'm trying to get back in the habit of posting like you know at least two videos per week you know i have some that i filmed over the last couple weeks uh, more moto vlogs and such i just haven't had time to edit them and put them up so uh you know i'm gonna get back and try to get dedicated to at least two a week um i focus on aloha fridays but i can't promise that i'll uh, get to every friday you know we'll try to make this a uh, continuous series i have like you know four or five episodes i i guess so far i think it's like five this is like episode six or something uh, but with that, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll roll on with Aloha Friday. So again, the concept of Aloha Fridays is, uh, you know, I talk about anything and everything throughout the week. And um, also now I'm going to address the, like other moto vloggers and things I see. And you may agree with me or disagree with me. And, you know, let me know in the comments below because, you know, this is a moto vlog community. And uh, I ride for you guys. Dude, this is a hobby, like I always said. Um, so let me know what your thoughts and uh, we'll get on with it. So, um First of all, um, it's the drama with uh, Yami Noob. For those of y'all don't know who Yami Noob is or the drama, he's a moto vlogger. Uh, he's got a decent amount of followers, uh, 180,000 or so, 150, I don't know. Uh, but he makes list videos. So like the top seven reasons for blah, blah, blah. Their top seven reasons car guys hate motorcycle guys, etc., etc. And I will say, I used to uh, think he was a pretty funny dude and motor vlogger. The thing is he doesn't motor vlog much. He just makes list videos uh, using cut it, you know, cut footage from other sources, whatever it is. It doesn't not necessarily motor vlogs and all that good stuff, but uh, random stuff, videos that he just cuts from YouTube. I think some of us probably copyrighted it and all that, but you know, it makes him money and such. And uh, I will say he used to be pretty funny. So I actually listed Yummy Noob as one of my top five uh, big motor vloggers uh, a couple months ago. I'll leave a link below down in the description so y'all can check it out. Uh, but it was, you know, when I first started motor vlogging, I don't know, like four months or so. And I enjoyed his content. Uh, he was pretty funny back then. But since then, what has he done? Well, one, he's gotten a couple accidents. And uh, they were all pretty much his fault, which is not cool. Nor he has, look at that guy, damn. <laughs> So, uh, nor has he apologized for any of it. Um, and the latest one, I mean, this story's all over. If you Google or put in YouTube, Yami Noob Crash, of course he's had more than one, but it's with the yellow Porsche. You know, it's not cool at all because like he, what he did is he crossed a double yellow line on a turn riding with other people, trying to show off or whatever. And he jokes about he's a street Rossi, but whatever, you know, he does it for jokes and views and all that good stuff but he's not really funny anymore and uh he came around the double yellow line tried to pass those guys and there's the video of him flying in the air like 30 40 feet in the air and it almost looks fake i mean there's only like a half a second that you see him flying recorded off another motor vlogger that turned his head back like that uh but you're like how the hell is this guy alive and the first time he got in an accident at least his major accident um, he ran into a big ass boulder on the side of the road. Um, you know, that one might, might have been more of an accident. I'll give him the benefit of doubt on that one. But he was being a jackass, racing his Daytona 675Rs. He's already wrecked like two or three of them. Um, now he's wrecked two. He used to own an R3 is what he started on, I believe. Um, but the point is, it was his fault. He didn't apologize. The owner of the Porsche, apparently the story goes, they didn't have any money to like, cover the whole thing uh, you know the insurance claim and their insurance company would cover it and all this good stuff so one of his buddies uh it was actually a female driver i believe uh made a gofundme page and that's another story i don't really like gofundme's all that good stuff because half of them are fake it seems like uh to help cover the insurance costs the medical bills etc because apparently yami noob is claiming he has no income he has no job uh, he had a suspended license, which is, if that's true, that's just screwed up, man. You're like straight, not right, douchebag move. 
you never, I mean, and he's sitting here racing with people. He could have wrecked other moto vloggers or those other riders, you know, et cetera. Um, they probably don't even know. You know, you do meetups, I'm sure he knows some of them, but then other times you're like, hey, let's meet up, dude. Okay, cool. Could have wrecked them and wrecked their world. I mean, it's just not cool at all. And so the whole point is you're like, oh, what's the big deal, right? Well, the big deal is Yami Noob's response is he made not one, but two jackass videos. The first one is like him in a sling explaining kind of what happened. The one that came out the other day, it pissed me off. I mean, he says, oh, I'm here for satire and oh, this is what it means and this and that. But he basically, he, he's saying he's not sorry. And uh, he's also claiming, you know, that he has no income and all that good stuff from the Porsche owner. That's what they said. And I don't know. He needs to come out, say he's sorry, all that good stuff. I will say I have unsubscribed from his channel because there's no reason content like that should be put out. He also teaches on some of his videos the wrong way to do motorcycling. And he's, he hasn't been riding that long. He says that. Um, but So he's going to teach people the wrong way and riders are going to get hurt or even killed, which is just straight up, you know, not cool. So I'm not saying, you know, it's, it's wrong one way or another. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I personally, Fireblade Pilot, I'm unsubbing him like I told you guys, and I recommend you do the same. I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm just saying, like, until he apologizes and, like, mans up instead of being this, you know, guy that wants to get views and thinks he's funny and he's not. He's not a comedian all that good stuff. I mean, he's done. And there's just no place like that in the motorblock community, you know. We're supposed to be four riders by the riders together. But uh, he just, in it for his own, he got some YouTube fame, his 15 minutes, and now he's still trying to take advantage of it, which ticks me off. And there's been some other motor vloggers that have, uh, like, gone after him on videos. Um, do it with Dan. I mean, he's probably one of the most famous motor vloggers. He's up there with, like, 6 foot 4 Honda. He's got a ton of subs. Clo getting close to a million, do it with Dan. And, uh... I think of all people, he has the biggest beef. They had something going on uh, not too long ago, back and forth, YouTube drama, if that's such a thing, which I laugh at. But, uh, you know, apparently it wasn't fake, <laughs> like some WWE kind of stuff, WWF when I grew up. Uh, some like Hulk Hogan versus, you know, freaking Ultimate Warrior stuff. But, uh, yeah, he it, do it with Dan. If you watch his video, I'll leave that in the link below. He makes some great claims on why Yami Noob is screwed up. Uh, he uses a little more colorful language, but I'll leave it at that. And also, I just watched a video not too long ago from R.R. Rob, uh, and I'll leave a link below to his video. He makes some good points. Uh, kind of the same deal as me, and I'm not doing this for views. I mean, I'm just telling you guys my thoughts. I like writing for you guys. I try to teach y'all safely, you know, when I do come out with the videos, and I hope you enjoy the content. But I just had to get this off my chest that yeah, I mean, noob, he, that guy, he just, he ticks me off. And he says that's his, oh, I, I do this to tick people off. It gets me views. And everyone's been unsubscribing from him and giving him thumbs down, dislikes on his videos. I don't know. You know, I don't, I hope he can still make enough income to at least help pay the Porsche owners, you know, portion of the accident. And I don't know if he's still dealing with the uh, first accident. I honestly don't even know how he bought a, another freaking Daytona 675R, you know what I mean, after the first accident. So I really doubt he'll ever get a insurance to cover this one. So uh, with that, uh, just another Aloha Friday. Sorry to go on a little rant. It's a little different Aloha Friday, but it was a great Aloha Friday. Every day I get to uh, do this and ride and it's not raining. And so with that, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about Yummy Noob. Do y'all still subscribe to him? Do you get him the benefit of the doubt or you think he's just straight douche. I, I think at a minimum he needs to apologize and man up for what he's done. Um, but with that, leave, uh, you leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please give a big old thumbs up. You know, let me know. Um, Y'all support this kind of thing. And this, I wouldn't say it's a movement, but just, man, motor vlogging needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Because I don't want some innocent riders or some new uh, person riding to get hurt because of his kind of videos. So with that, I'll catch y'all later. Take care and aloha.